Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the video. Now today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to what I usually do. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to start out as a rock singer. And most of this is going to be things that I wish I'd been told when I first started. So we're going to get on to tip number one, you suck. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend that all of these tips are going to apply to all of you equally. but. Nine times out of ten when you first start out, you are going to suck, but you're not going to realise it because you're just starting out. Now, when I first started out, I didn't realise, you know, whilst I may have had a strong voice and had experience with singing when I was a child, uh, more professionally, when you first start rock singing, as at least as an adult, it's very, very different. And until you've gained enough experience to know what not to do, you are going to suck, or at least not be as good as you think you are. So the biggest thing to take away from this tip is to listen to constructive criticism. Now there's going to be a tip later on that I give you guys about how to tell the difference between constructive criticism and just flat out criticism and hate, but we'll get onto that later on. The point is to suck less, listen more. <laughs> tip number two, practice. This is attached to the first tip. The most important thing you can do when you're first starting out is practice, practice, practice. Don't let your ego pilot the ship, so to speak. When I first started out, I always used to think that a warm up was just going ah, da, 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 a few times, and then I would instantly start yelling and wailing and screaming and doing whatever song that I wanted to right off the bat, which is not a good idea. It will throw your voice off completely and you will end up burning out very, very quickly. So practice makes perfect. Not only will you not keep blowing your voice out, but you will also start to notice that your voice gets better. You start to build your voice as it were. You will not be able to sing a whole lot of love by Led Zeppelin or Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses on day one. You might be able to hit all the right notes, but it will sound awful to the trained ear. So the whole point is to improve objectively not just get better in your own eyes but in the eyes of others and not just get better in the eyes of others but overall so the whole point is practice 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 tip number three I call this one critical difference. So the difference between constructive criticism and hateful criticism. Now, if someone says to you, oh, I think that note was a bit flat, don't take it to heart because they might be right. They might be hearing something you're not hearing or they might be wrong. Either way, take it on board and do what you want with that information. You can either choose to listen or choose to discard it. But either way, as long as you take that information on board, you're one step closer to actually improving as a singer. Now, if someone says to you, I hate your voice, I hate your singing, I hate how you are, I hate your face and you just suck, that's hateful criticism. That's not something you need to be taken on board because that person clearly has an ulterior motive and the improvement of your singing is clearly not something they have at heart and they are clearly not giving you any information that is to your best interest. So take on the constructive criticism and chuck out the hateful stuff. I'm not going to get into a massive philosophical psychological thing as to how to tell the difference. I'm just telling you guys some main examples of the different things people will say when they're either constructively criticizing you or just throwing full-blown hate at you. It's the difference between going, that was a bit flat or a bit sharp, and going, I fucking hate you, I hate your face and you suck. So that's the difference. Tip number four, and this is a bit of a cliche because it's not really a tip, but it is, it's have fun. You know, we all get into rock and heavy metal and singing as a whole to have fun. And if you're not having fun, then really you shouldn't be doing it. I mean, if you want to do it as a career, but you don't get much out of it in terms of fun, I guess that's your choice as to whether or not you pursue it. You might be good at it, but not enjoy it very much. There are many guitarists who play in heavy metal bands that are blues guitarists that don't particularly like the genre, but they enjoy playing the guitar. It's the same thing. But generally speaking, when we're talking rock and roll or heavy metal, we get into it because we enjoy it. So stick to that and never forget that it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience. If you're pushing yourself so hard that you absolutely hate what you're doing, Stop, take a break, and come back later. The only time we should ever hate anything when we're practicing our singing and when we're doing heavy metal and rock is the songs that we're doing because we should be playing them over and over again to the point where it exhausts us to hear them. I cannot listen to For Whom the Bell Tolls now without wanting to chuck myself out of a window. And that's not because I hate the song and not because I don't like Metallica, I love Metallica. It's because I've played it and practiced it so much now that it's a chore to listen to. <laughs> But that's a good sign because it means I know the song backwards. 
and I'll still enjoy playing it and I'll still enjoy listening to it from time to time but there will always be that underlying thing of knowing the song so well that it's repetitive almost like playing a song too much to the point where you don't want to listen to it anymore and we've all done that now tip number five and the final tip I'm going to give you for today in this video is respect the basics so what I mean by that is if you're finding that you're having a hard time progressing or you find that your voice is getting you know overly fatigued or easily burnt out go back to basics the most important thing is having a really strong foundation to your singing before you try and go to these ridiculous places like singing like I said before Led Zeppelin or Guns N' Roses you have to be able to do the basics first a house with a bad foundation will sink that is the same principle in singing you can't be Rob Halford all the time you can't be doing all these things that require a ridiculous amount of vocal fortitude without having a strong concrete base for it all to be built off of so if you're struggling, go back to basics. Do your scales, do your warm-ups, do all that stuff. You are supposed to be a vocal athlete, not a vocal power lifter. That is the most important thing when it comes to the voice. You cannot approach this with an Eddie Hall type of mindset. You have to approach it more with a Usain Bolt type of mindset. You have to be fast, nimble, agile, but you have to be able to do it over time. You can't just scream at every single note all of the time because you will destroy your voice, or at least you will fatigue it to an extent where you won't be able to sing anymore. The most important thing is to be able to be a good singer first and then everything else on top later foundation house that's the idea thank you all very much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you don't think i'm qualified to give advice then just chuck it out the window but this is just things that i wish i had known and i think this advice can ap apply to everyone but you do take it at your own risk i am not responsible for anything that you decide to do or not do with my advice i'm just giving you guys a few pointers that people have given me and a few things that i have learned on my journey beginning about four or five years ago to today in June of 2022. Thank you all very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Hopefully the next single breakdown won't be too far on the horizon, but I'm taking it at my own pace. It will be the Joey Belladonna video, and until then, I will see you in the next one.